Hi, welcome to SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. Hi, I'm Elliot Morgan. We were down there. Late last week, Gizmodo debuted a slew of infographics depicting the speed of the internet across America. <sighs> and a variety of conclusions can be deciphered from all the pretty colors, such as regions where the internet is intense and mighty, and regions where information is better delivered by, say, I don't know, cups and string. The most important info extracted from the data showing download speeds by congressional district is that faster internet pretty much correlates with higher income. You want blazing fast internet? Set up shop where the rich set up shop. Susan Crawford, the former special assistant to President Obama for science, technology, and innovation, has said in the past, the rich are getting gouged, the poor are very often left out, and this means that we are creating yet again two Americas and deepening inequality through this communications inequality. And even though this seems kind of trivial, the gap will become more and more significant as every facet of life, business, social, and education, becomes dependent upon the internet. Mm, but enough of all that boring thinking stuff. Let's jump over to some cold, hard internet facts. The national download average speed is 18.2 megabits per second. And the city with the fastest internet in America is the tiny northwestern city of Afraid of Washington at an average shattering speed of 85.5 megabits per second. This is a reality because they have their own fiber optics provider and iFiber communications, and that's almost double the 49.9 megabits per second that second place Google Fiber equipped Kansas City is rocking. Google who? Give me some iFiber in my diet. Right? Yeah, diet? It's like that. a helps you poop fiber. Yeah. And the poor souls attempting to function with the slowest internet in the country live in the towns of Chinle and Fort Defiance, Arizona. 1.5 megabits per second. Hot and slow. Yeah, like Hanny Davis running from a pack of wolves with two bum legs. Hot and slow. Slow, but at least you're hot and you're gonna die. Other points of interest on the map are that the northwestern and southeastern corners of the country are fast hubs of internet heaven, as well as the metropolitan east coast. And take a look at the pathetic red splotch that is Montana. The whole state is a discouraging 60% slower than the national average. Big Sky Country is void of any residual effects from Washington or North Dakota, where apparently big oil equates to fast internet. But it doesn't matter. We don't want your internet in Montana. We're busy painting with the colors of the wind. Because you're not streaming newsroom and breaking bad. Have you ever heard the wolf cry to the blue corn moon? So how important is fast internet to you? How is your life affected when the net is slow? Let us know in the comment section down below. That movie was historically accurate. And while you're down there, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. There's a bunch of talking animals before all the white men killed them. We also got this annotation. I'm Elliot Morgan. <laughs> I'm Joe Beretta. Have you ever tasted dirt or <laughs> Dutch? <laughs>